2002 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. Customer wants a spare key made, but to pull the pin on these, it won't pull the pin via OBD. Well, it will if you have a certain key sequence, but um, if not, you pull the skin module and do some EEPROM work, which I think I have a video on that I show as well. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to manual selection, North America. Oh, and before I do this, I have the original program key in there. I have a cut chipped unprogrammed key and a cut just a regular mechanical key. Security key with the gray, black with unsecurity. So I'm gonna go to Grand Cherokee. It's a 01, so we'll go to that year. Blade key. And I want to give a shout out to Zach McLean in Arkansas. He's helped me do a lot of the stuff and I've learned a lot from him. So if there's a program key, please turn ignition on. There is. So you can pull it via OBD if you have these keys. And I used I cut these keys with the duplicator. I used the X-Horse XC009, just a duplicator off the original one. I could do it by EEPROM, like I said, but that's a lot more work. Of course, if I had all keys lost, I'd have to, you know, do the EEPROM work or find a way to get the pin maybe from the dealer or something. But I don't like relying on the dealer, especially the dealer in Mountain Home, Idaho. Because the dealer in Mountain Home, Idaho, are, they're absolute garbage. Let me go to control unit. Read and mobilize your password. You can do this, dismantle it, which we're not going to do for the EEPROM. We're going to do read and mobilize your password VPW. So switch ignition off and on again. Make sure the engine is off. Just going to cycle the key with the original cut key. Program key. Hit OK. Should have a one to three minute wait time. Wait, actually it says remove the key from the ignition, then switch ignition on with the non chip key. Turn it off. Use this black one we cut. Key on engine off. Hit OK. Now it's going to count down one to three minutes. So I'll pause from here. All right, we're continuing the countdown here. Like I said, big shout out to Zach McLean in Arkansas. I believe his business is Elite Automotive Solutions. I talked to him quite a bit, and this guy's been awesome helping me go through all this stuff. So we'll continue. I'll pause it here till we get some change on the screen. All right, now switch on ignition with an unprogrammed key chip with a chip turn it off this one's unprogrammed security key put it in hit okay one to three minutes again all right so now I pull the password there it is right there I'm gonna hit okay and I'm gonna put the regular key back in Now we're going to actually program a key. See here. Mobilizer. I'm going to go to key learning. Turn ignition on. It is. Should ask us for the pin. There it saved at 1130. Yes. Well. I should have got to put the damn other key in <laughs> to learn it. So I'm going to learn the actual key now. Put it in there. Boom, it's learned. So let's make sure it starts with the new key we cut and programmed, which it does. It's got a new cut key, and then he's got to use the key you can get in the door with for the backup key if you needed to get in the door.